Hi guys, welcome back to my channel at Sadia's Finances. My name is Sadia and I talk all things about my financial journey such as budgeting, weekly check-ins, sinking funds, investments. I hope you're all having a great week so far. Um, it is a short week and I'm pretty sure majority of people have the next two days off as uh, bank holiday for the Queen's Jubilee. It's a four day weekend, I hope that's nice. I've been off all this week and I've just been enjoying just relaxing and just not doing much and not being interrupted by work calls which is amazing. So June's, June's budget has been probably one of the worst budgets to ever do in my life. Um, well not ever in my life but I would say this year it's probably been the worst budget to actually do. It's been a bit of a hot mess to be honest. Just trying to get it to work properly hasn't been that successful. I don't think I've still got the perfect budget so maybe in the, when I'm doing the um, actual budget with you guys maybe it will go better on there. But what I'll say is that I have received um, a less um, salary um, this month because I received extra bonus shares this month. And whenever we receive bonus shares from our work um, share scheme, we always get taxed on it. And I just totally forgot about that. And when I saw my pay slip, I was like, oh crap, now I've got to work with a little bit less of a salary. Because the tax man just takes a lot, doesn't he? Always taking a lot of money. And so yeah. So I'm just having to, like, I spent a week trying to perfect the budget. I still haven't perfected it. So we'll see when we start budgeting for June. But I hope you're all having a great week and I hope that your budget for June goes really well as well. So let's get into doing the June's budget for the month. My salary for the month is £1,951.40p. So this is quite less compared to the previous month, but I've been taxed extra because of the bonus shares that I've received. Side hustles, I'm planning to make £150 through surveys and user testings and potentially market research. I'm also planning just to make a bit more extra, but the budget to the man is going to be 150 and then last month I made about £351, I think. But that some of the money was from referrals and I don't think I'll be making that much in referrals this month um so yeah dividends it's just going to be the usual two pounds so my budgeted income for the month is two thousand one hundred and three pounds and forty p which is an okay amount usually i have an extra hundred to work with or an extra fifty pounds for savings i'm going to put in six hundred and forty p into my house saving that is the plan Finally, I'm putting something in there. I know I put something in last month, but it wasn't a lot to be honest. The sinking funds, I am planning to put in £150. And for investments, it's going to be £241. So I would have liked to put more into my investments um, just to purchase some of the shares at a discounted price essentially. <laughs> but maybe I can do that next month. Um, I just got to focus on a few of my expenses I need to pay off. So the total um, amount that I'm putting into savings and giving funds and investment is £991.40p, which is a bad amount. Now let's start logging my expenses. And I essentially have £1,112 for my expenses, which is quite a lot. I prefer, for me, my, my motto kind of is spend less than what you earn. So more should be going into my savings, sinking funds and investments. And then going into my expenses but this after um, I paid off my mum's um, money that I borrowed that should be the case from July onwards where I'm putting more into my savings and sinking funds and investments and less into my expenses so living below my means essentially so let's start logging <coughs> the expenses so for housing it's always going to be a hundred pounds for mortgage slash rent mobile phone bill will be seven pounds and that should be seven pounds. I, I haven't seen any difference on the bill that I took a look at. And I'm also I purchased a coffee table and that's 125 pounds. Hopefully that should be the last furniture expense for this year. I don't plan on buying anything else. I know my mum wants to get another coffee table, but someone else can pay for that now. So the total budgeted for the housing category is 230 pounds. For groceries, I'm budgeting 180 pounds. Um, for dining out, I'm going to budget £70. I don't think that will be enough, but that's what I'm going to have to work with, unfortunately. 
four takeaways I'm budgeting 20 pounds again don't think that would be enough but again this is what I'm working with for the month snacks 15 pounds I would have liked to budget it 20 pounds but I had to put that five pound elsewhere essentially so the total amount for food and budgeted is 285 pounds for personal care or personal category I budgeted nothing I can't budget any clothes no personal care items no treatments which I think I'll be fine without treatments but no clothing no personal care so yeah it's I just had to just cross this category out essentially from my expense list essentially I have to I did work on this budget like a gazillion times and even now I was still making a few changes so we're just gonna go with the flow this month it's just yeah it's not ideal but budgeting is just where you allocate your money and you just try and not overspend in those categories so yeah for transportation I am budgeting a hundred pounds for petrol 40 pounds for public transport the reason why I'm doing a bit more on public transport is that some days that I'm going to London, I'll be just going as myself, essentially, and the ticket is roughly about twenty pounds, so it's quite a lot, quite expensive. I know I can buy a rail card, but the thing is, how often would I use that rail card? That's the question. I remember I purchased one, I think, last year, before last year, before COVID hit, and I just used it once, and it wasn't really worth worth the money. So yeah, something I'm going to look into and see whether I need it or not. The total amount for transportation is £140, which is okay. To be honest, I should put a bit more into petrol, but I can't with the way my expenses are. Which is unfortunate. For subscription, I am budgeting £5. And I've got an extra expense it's under entertainment this month. It's going to be cinema. I'm budgeting £30 for this. Um, it's going to be a trip for me and my younger cousins. We are planning to see the Jurassic World um, movie. I can't wait. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> like, I've been, since I knew it was coming out, I've been dying to watch it essentially, and I can't wait. It's the last movie ever, and usually I wouldn't really go to the cinema, but I was like, for this movie, I've got to go to the cinema. And just spend my money this would just essentially be for the cinema tickets i'm not planning to buy any snacks at the cinema i'll get them from like poundland or any other shops that i would just get crisps and chocolates essentially for healthcare i also have no planned expenses for the month so this is getting a minus cross not a minus cross a major cross <laughs> gosh for loans, I'm just going to give my mum £300 and that's it. That's the full grand paid off. Never again am I borrowing money. This is this, this little expense, but it was for a gold bracelet. It's like a couple of months ago and I just didn't, I had the money, but I didn't want to dip into my savings. I was like, I'll just borrow the money for you, from you and let's pay it off. But what it's done is it's really messed up my budget in the way that I usually budget because I've had this extra expense and I'm, for the last couple of months and it's just paying this off so that it doesn't ruin my budget more otherwise I can't allocate this money that £300 is quite a lot of money into my savings into potential investments so it's good that in June this will be out out, um, out of the way <laughs> and that's £300 going into loan for other I'm only going to have £20 um, in charity and that's it. So £20 will be going to charity. So that's all my expenses for the month. Oh, sorry, I don't, forgot to do the total income, not, not total income, total expense um, budgeted for event for entertainment is £35. So yeah. Oh, I actually have £100 left over. Oh. Ooh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Um, isn't that great? Um, that is nice, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, 
Why am I putting this extra hundred pounds? Um, I'm pretty sure all my expenses are fine. I don't think I missed anything off. Um, so yeah, um, where's this money going to go? This question. Okay, um, I'm going to plan to put it in savings. What I might do is, where I've got £70 for dining out, I'm just going to put an extra £30 in that. So it's £100, just in case I do go out, and otherwise I know I know I'll overspend. So the total amount for food is now £315 which is a good amount and the total amount that's going into savings is £670.40p so the total amount that's going into savings is in case and investment is £1,061.40p this is something I'm more happier with because I prefer putting over a grand in into all these categories so yeah um, I'm happy with this <laughs> Just, just hope that I don't go overboard with any of my purchases, essentially. Um, yeah. Okay, that is my budget for June. This has been quite long. I would have liked it to be a bit more quicker, but, you know, this is it. Hopefully it goes to plan. Now let's get into the cash stuffing. So... For June's cash stuffing, I'm just planning to cash stuff about £460. There's a few purchases that I'm doing online or some I'm just going to do through my Chase Bank account just to earn a bit of a cash back and just so that once the money's gone, it's gone because it seems like I'm borrowing money from other categories which isn't really ideal and I want to kind of stop that. I just care about kind of doing that unnecessary spending. Um, and just hopefully it will just stop me from overspending in certain categories. Um, but we'll see whether that will be the case this month. So yeah. So the first envelope that I'm planning to stuff is going to be the groceries. So this needs 180. So I'm just going to take a few 20 pound notes. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 70 and 80 pounds. The groceries have been getting expensive, so I don't know whether I'll overspend in this category. I'm hoping I don't, but I don't know. I've already taken £11 out from my takeaway um, wallet, and I'm left with £9 chain. That's because later this evening, I am going to get a takeaway, and I've given my, the money to my brother, and he will just go to the shops and essentially purchase it for me. So luckily from the bank I was able to get some change so that's worked out well for me. Usually I would put the change into my coin wallet but this time I'm not because I'm only planning to use this for any other takeaways that I get for the month. I know I can stop my takeaway spending but I need budget around £20-£25 a month so I don't think it's the worst spending and it's like the little treats that are nice for the week, the weekend. For dining out, this will receive £100. So I'm just going to use a few £20 notes. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. I also, nothing for personal care. Transportation, £100 for petrol. So I'm going to use the last few 20 pound notes 20 40 60 80 100 public transport needs 40 pounds I'm going to use two 10 pound notes 10 20 25 30 30 35 40 pounds that's public transport We'll see how many times I go to London this month. Nothing for parking, nothing for appointments. Charity will just receive £20.
and that's it that's all my cash envelope stuffed sorry that my video's been all over the place and my budgeting has been all, all over the place it's just that it's been one of those videos where it hasn't been perfect but you know I'm just showing you not every time videos can be perfect not everyone's budget can be perfect things happen so you just have to kind of go with the flow at sometimes as long as I don't go really really over budget I'm happy there's a few categories that I can overspend but this month I'm trying trying to stop that from happening and sometimes I just prefer making some pay payments online it might be in the next couple of years that I might start fully using my cards again because my my spending habits are better but we'll see whether that will be the case or not if you have enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe to my channel let me know in the comments below how your gym budget is going to be whether um, you've had a lot of income this month or whether you're planning to save loads just leave me a comment I do like responding to you guys so yeah thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video until next time bye bye